Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I have a video for you guys today. This is a very highly requested video and I'm super excited to do this because I've done it many times. I can say I'm a professional at it. I think I filmed this twice before, but it's an updated version, but you guys have been asking and I wanted to film it for you guys. Basically, I'm just gonna show you guys how I edit my Instagram photos and like I said, it's just going to show you the basics on how I get the filter. Um, here is my theme, it's like a pink tint to it orange tint i really don't know whatever you guys want to call it but you guys have been asking for a long time and i was like okay i'll definitely explain it because i think the filter's pretty and if you want to have a pretty filter go for it so that is what i'm here to do today so let's begin before we get started i'm just going to say this is going to be a very long process so i'm going to try my best to make it as simple as possible because it takes a while Okay, so the first thing you guys want to do is obviously you don't have to or if you're just watching this for fun I don't know, but if you really want to do this filter You're gonna have to download Dropbox and Lightroom CC and then also Visco Those are the apps that I use to edit my photos. So you're gonna go to YouTube I know it's a weird first step. I apologize And then then you're gonna go to this video called how to edit like Larissa underscore WLC Instagram Lightroom mobile preset and the the person that posted it should be planet iris i don't know <laughs> i probably said that wrong but then you're gonna click this little arrow and you're gonna go to the description and you're gonna click preset link and it's going to take you to safari and it's gonna open in dropbox this is why you need to download dropbox make sure not to click anything because sometimes it pops up and it's like a scam so i don't want that to happen to you so you just gotta wait five seconds and then you're gonna click skip ad and it's gonna take you to dropbox <laughs> it should look like this and then you're gonna click the three dots in the corner and you're gonna click export. Should take you to many options. And then you're gonna click copy to Lightroom CC. It's gonna export you. <laughs> and then it should pull up like this. And you're gonna think, Emma, it's just a photo. That's not a filter. What are you talking about? Silly goose. And then this is kind of confusing. So I'm gonna try my best to explain it. You're gonna click the three buttons up top. You're gonna click create preset. And preset is a filter. And this is gonna turn into a filter. And that's how you apply it to your photos. It's kind of confusing. I didn't understand it at first either. So I'm not gonna do this and show you guys. But all you have to do is give it a name. And then you can click use your presets. But it was kind of confusing. So I just made my own. So you can just click create new preset group. And then I just named mine hello. Because I really didn't understand how to use it. And then once that's done, it's probably gonna pull up a page like this still, and you're gonna click the arrow to log out. So photos, I know. <laughs> and then you're just going to click the three dots, click add photos from camera roll, and then you're just gonna find a photo that you wanna edit. And there's kind of a lot, so um, we're just gonna do this one. It's kind of awkward, but it's okay. Once you have the photo that you wanna edit, you're gonna go over to the left or right. I don't know my lefts and rights. Then you're gonna click preset, and then here are all the presets that I got for free. And that is why I went to YouTube to go get it because you kind of have to pay for presets because like Aspen Over it has some and I mean if you don't want to pay for it this is the easy way to get it guys. <laughs> um, so here's like a preset that I found. There's that, that one, and then that one. So the one that I use is number four. Don't know why I named it four, but that is the filter that I use. So you're gonna click check mark and you're gonna say that is not the filter that you use. So like I said, we're gonna have to use this app in the beginning because it's easier to just fix the ugliness of the photo on here. So you're just gonna go over to light, fix the exposure. Don't really fix the exposure, that will be on Visco. The first thing that I do is I wanna fix the orangeness so we're gonna bring down the vibrance we're gonna bring down the vibrance and then bring the saturation up okay okay and then it should sort of look like that it kind of just depends on your preference and what your photos want to look like um i don't have a specific like numbers like a negative 1.8 for the exposure or vibrance and stuff it's up to you i don't control what you guys like so after that this is kind of like what it's gonna look like but then we're gonna click okay and then you're gonna have to find the photo you're gonna click the three dots up in the corner and you're gonna click select and you're gonna click the photo that you want to save to your camera roll click share save to camera roll maximum i don't know the difference between small and maximum but i just do maximum i feel like it looks better 
and then you're gonna go over to Visco, and then you're going to add that photo to the studio. You're gonna click those lines in the bottom, the bottom section. And this is how we fix the filter. And this is how I get the pink tone. Where first thing is, we're going to go over to skin tone and we're gonna go down to the negatives because that creates the pink look to it. And ten to, it looks 10 times better already. And sometimes I like to play with the saturation. I think that's pretty. <laughs> if you want to do that, go for it. Um, but I kind of just play around with it till I like see what I like. So I'm going to go with negative three. I don't like my face to be so tan, like so orange. Sometimes my photos are like that. It's just like I wasn't thinking that day. Sometimes after I do saturation, I fix the skin tone. So like, this is what it would look like if I didn't add pink. It's kind of ugly. So when you add pink, it looks 10 times better. So the skin tone is probably the most important to get that pink look to it. And then sometimes I like to play with the exposure. And it's kind of like off and on. I like to make mine bright and like happy. So I'm just going to leave it at zero because I like that. Because I fix the exposure on Lightroom. And then I go over to grain and then I just add some grainy things to it. It kind of just looks different, I guess. And I like it like that. I don't know. If it turns out to be really orange and you don't really understand what I'm saying, go over to HSL. Click orange because the orange is kind of like what your face looks like. It's going to be orange, obviously. And if you want to fix that, you can just bring the saturation down and it's like going to take the orange away or you can bring it up. It just depends on like what you guys like. Sometimes I play with it. It just depends on how orange I really am in the photo. So that is basically it. Um, I tried to explain briefly and very fast and like not so detailed. Here's what it looks like after. I think it looks good. Um, here's my Instagram feed. Like I said, it's like a pink orange tint to it and I like it. I personally do like it. Um, here's a big difference from like the videos I filmed in the past. I feel like I explained it pretty well. I don't know. Um, I kind of explained it pretty fast, but I just wanted to go over the basics. Like I said, I'm not going to tell you specifics. I don't do specifics. I just kind of go by whatever looks best. <laughs> I cannot speak. I just go by whatever looks best on the photo. And like, it just depends on like the lighting and like everything in the photo. And the filter looks really, really good good with greenery in the background like 10 out of 10 that's probably like my favorite photos to take with that filter when you apply it um so if you like to take outdoor photos definitely find a lot of greenery because i feel like it looks better um but yeah that is basically it i just wanted to explain how i got that filter and how i just kind of fixed it up to make it look like that i think i did a pretty good job if i didn't i'm sorry I apologize. I tried my best, but um, you guys really did request this video. I was like, okay, I'll do it for you guys. Cause I don't know, they're super fun to film. And so anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm back with another video. Comment down below some video ideas you guys want to see on my channel. <laughs> kind of running out of ideas, guys. It's been, been pretty, pretty crazy. Yeah, so hopefully you enjoyed today's video and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye.